everyday superpower where we talk body language relationships game human dynamics everything in between to be on the mind of the woman is to either stimulate her imagination or force yourself in there and with memories come emotional value if you attach anchor that emotional value onto that experience I can't tell you how a woman sees things because I'm a man but the woman sees the world through a more emotionally driven and painted lens with that being said I assume that women see the world in a more colourful manner compared to us right we see it through the grey logical lens of realism for the most part but we know what it's like when we get angry and irate and our mind has us act up in a volatile way and we see the worst in things so we do experience I mean we've got plenty more emotions but that's the first one I come across as far as you know when you've just had you're tired out and you've had a bad day and you're wound up and you can acknowledge the fact you are irritated and you just see the worst in everything and everyone. You're just fed up, right? With a woman, that will be tenfold. And with that being said, if you can create an emotional response in a woman, she'll become attached to you purely as you give her life. I did a video based on being a challenge in order for the woman to try and work you out and for the woman to be fascinated by you. But now I'm going to take it a step further and say if you engage with her on an emotional level, that communication is going to be ever so much more powerful than if you were to engage with her in a logical means. You're essentially entering her world, which most men won't do. Do you know when a woman is uh, stressed and under pressure and she comes to you? This this one goes out to the fellas with girlfriends or who have had experiences with girlfriends in the past. And she comes to you and she says, oh, I'm so stressed because this that I've had such a bad day at work. And you sit there and you think you are doing your best to help her out by being logical and rational and you say, well, how about you do this and how about we take action by doing this? That'll solve the problem. And you just feel like she doesn't want to listen to that because what she wants is a cup she can flick the tap on and relieve herself of that emotional surplus she is experiencing she wants somebody to listen and somebody to engage with her on that realm she don't want answers and you know a fix to the problem as silly as it sounds to us she just wants somebody to listen you know so for you to create joy in a woman that will be optimal but you could be mean to a girl and she'll go back to her partner and you will be on her mind and she will say to her partner so and so has been ever so mean to me today he's hurt my feelings and then he'll get annoyed and they'll start ranting and raving and just through you behaving, misbehaving, you have, um, hold up, through you misbehaving and being a bit of a, being a bit of a bad guy in all honesty, you've created this space where both her and her partner are sitting there talking about you whilst you're off doing your thing. You've become a celebrity of such. You've engaged with her emotionally and I don't say this to say go on just be a prick and start hurting people's feelings. 
you don't necessarily want that negative energy in your life anyway, I should hope, but you don't have to be nice all the time in order to attract women, in order to be on the mind of a woman. And the thing is, imagine the resolution when you become friends again after that circumstance. Her boyfriend's always going to be annoyed at you from that moment and he's going to talk about you and put himself below you because you don't mention him at all. You're emotionally unfazed by this guy. You see? So have you seen how you've created this incredible dynamic? It is manipulative, yes, most definitely, but this is the psychology of uh, seduction. I would say it's beyond attraction at this point. You are seducing someone through these bleak tactics. Have you never seen a girl who's in a relationship and he's he's horrible to her, but she can't leave him? She loves him ever so dearly, yet all he does is makes her cry. And that's not the person we want to be because we don't do things like that. But it goes to show the addictive energy that emotion provokes. It adds color. It adds life, you know, in a horrible way. excitement, anticipation, these are all more positive, um, you know, emphases you can place on your influence on her life, but if you engage with her emotionally, she thinks of you, and if you're on her mind, she'll start to fall in love with you. When you've fallen out with your significant other, and you've made friends again, you have what's called make up sex and some people say that's the best and most fantastic relief of that well the, the the best resolution when two come back together as one whole again what an incredible impact that creates as opposed to them being stuck together from the get-go there's no impact there's no coming together they already were together. It can get mundane, it can get boring, it can get tiresome. If you're in a relationship, you could throw a curveball in there every once in a while and just be a bit of a knob for the sake of it. Would I recommend that? Hey, each to their own. I, I can't tell you anything, but you will engage a longevity of relationship because she will get the drama she wants from it. She will get the stimulation she craves from it. And you will be the author of this reality show that you both reside in. More exciting than anything on the television. Whereas when you work in pattern and live life the way you want to, you come back home, you want to chill out, have no drama, get on with things. She's not going to find that exciting and she's going to find a man who can create a little bit of colour in her life, yeah? That's some game. On that note, I'm signing out, so click like and subscribe as I'm uploading every day, and with that being said, i got two links down in the description of the video. One I'll take through to the catalogue of body language, over 220 videos of how to read people through their subconscious behaviours. Second to that is the Patreon, where you'll join me in watching people go on first dates. I'll break down the attraction and the repulsion body language. You'll see it manifest in the world around you, because it's hardwired in all of us. That's the real game. On that note, I'm signing out. Peace.